Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with a new battle. Uh, this battle and another one were supposed to be uploaded last week. Unfortunately, nature got in the way. Uh, there was a huge thunderstorm that knocked out power for uh, the D.C. metro area, uh, a huge chunk of it. Um, Montgomery County, which is the county I, that I live in, um, nearly two-thirds of the entire county uh, lost power at some point, and a lot of them didn't have power restored for like half the week. Um, anyway, uh, enough bitching. Um, yeah, Pepco, you can go to hell. I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, so this is my trick room team, uh, and he sent out Raikau and was it, um, Raikau and uh, Kingdra, um, and I'm just trying to set up a trick. Uh, Zapdos uses Thunderbolt against Kingdra, not because I thought it would be uh, super effective, but because that was the most effective attack I could think of. Um, Anyway, he's predicting the um, trick room and manages to take out Dusk Noir before he's able to set it up. And so I'm like, well, shoot, there goes my strategy. But it's actually not all that bad because Zapdos is built to be fast. Um, and it's also built to be slow, but it's built to be slow if it's got the power item. Um, so it doesn't have the power item, so it's still going to be pretty fast. And Dragonite's got a priority move, so I haven't lost this battle yet. Um, I go ahead and decide I'm going to take out Kingdra because Kingdra is going to be the harder hitter. Um, so Zapdos is going to keep on Thunderbolting, and then I'm going to use Priority Extreme Speed against um, uh, with Dragonite. Uh, so here we go. <clears throat> Man, I just I was so pissed at Pepco, and there's you know I just couldn't understand it. You know there was no damage anywhere near my apartment complex. And yet, uh, the power was out for like 48 hours. Um, it was ridiculous. Anyway, um, enough bitching about the power. Down goes Kingdra, um, which is nice. Wow, these Pokemon take a long time to die. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the narrator. That they take a long time because the narrator is uh, waxing poetical about them fainting. But oh well. Um, so now both of his guys are weak against Thunderbolt. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, not Thunderbolt, I'm sorry, Earthquake. So I'm going to go ahead and use Earthquake. Um, he, however, uh, he, uh, luckily all three of his guys are weak against Earthquake. So he switched in Electivire, um, who is going to uh, suffer massive damage, but not before I do some damage with Heat Wave. Um, Heat Wave luckily breaks uh, Raikou's Substitute, which is nice. Um, and so now Earthquake can hit both Pokemon. Super effective hit, and let's see, does it, yep, it takes out both of his guys. So that's absolutely amazing. Um, I love this team that it can survive without Trick Room. And this guy was a decent player, too, as far as I can tell. Um, you know, did some EV training, his Pokemon were hitting pretty hard, um, and he was, chosen, he was choosing pretty good Pokemon. It's not like I, you know, I was beating up on someone using UUs or uh, NUs. So anyway, this battle is basically over. Um, Zapdos uses Heat Wave, uh, which is going to do super effective damage. Uh, is that, does that kill Metagross? No, that doesn't kill Metagross. Uh, it uh, gets him down to low HP, though. Metagross uses Meteor Mash. This hits pretty hard, but not hard enough to take out, uh, you know, full HP Dragonite. So um, Dragonite's going to uh, use his Earthquake, uh, take out Metagross, and this match is over. So, a nice short match. Um, really wish it could have gone off last week. Curse you, Pepco! Okay, I'm sorry. In the next narration, I won't mention Pepco or the power outage at all. I just like complaining. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye!